another episode of Quantum TV. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. And if you have been rocking with me, welcome back. I have no idea why I look orange, but whatever. So, as you can tell by today's title, this is a travel vlog. Um, I am going to Atlanta today and it's for three days, two nights. So, that's, yeah, that's kind of extended for me. Um, usually when I do Atlanta, it's no more than two days. But, like I said, this particular trip is three days, two nights. It's business for me. Um, I'm going on this trip. Um, it's a summer professional development, so it's not going to be litty and turned up and in the clubs and things of that nature. No, you're going to see me working and doing things of that nature. Um, uh, I'm going to the Ron Clark Academy, so I'm not sure if I will be able to give you all footage of that. But, we shall see my best friend since like forever uh, i think we were like first grade she stays in atlanta and we're i'm going to meet up with her and yeah so it's kind of like a solo trip even though i'm going with co-workers yeah i know how to go <laughs> i'm going with co-workers um but like i say it's pretty much solo after you attend like all the conferences and stuff like that you're kind of on your own so i'm going to take you out with me i thought that would be interesting i'm currently sitting at the memphis international airport y'all it is crazy in these guys it's crazy out here so anybody that's traveling i don't want to get that person's tag y'all like to zoom in on stuff um it is crazy out here in these these airlines guys y'all it's crazy um it's a lot but anyway i'm about to get out because it took me an hour literally 45 minutes to an hour to find a park so i'm about to get out i know if parking was hectic getting to delta is gonna the delta terminal is gonna be even worse so yeah i'm gonna go and get out and yeah i'll talk to you all once i get situated if you need some quick travel gear something to just throw on something that's very comfortable make sure y'all hit our team you thank you to team you and shout out to them for sponsoring today's travel vlog this is a comfortable two-piece set that i got from them um the link to get 50 percent off will be in my description box so go on and click that link and get you some of these comfy sets i made it and it was hot and the line was long <laughs> we after this um, my line sister had actually already like kind of told me like if you plan on traveling a lot you really need to invest in tsa free check and i see why i see why that line was terrible and then it's really really hot at the airport i don't know if they cut the air off or not but anyway i bought me a book to read um this is killing comparison by nona jones i think a lot of us can benefit from reading this especially millennials anybody of any age we've all felt victim to um comparison to honey but in about probably around about 12 i'm gonna go grab a bite to eat from chick-fil-a of course and just wait until it's time to go it was about five minutes ago when i seen the hottest chick that a young and never seen before i say hello so we finally made it to the hotel i don't know if we're gonna have time to act, if i'm gonna have time to give you a tour now or do i have to wait till i come back to the room because we have to be at the conference literally in 15 minutes so probably not <sighs> Yeah, getting from the airport to the hotel was crazy. But I will say this before I go. We are in the Midtown area. We are at the um, Atlanta Marriott Marquis. I mean, it's okay. But, I mean, first impressions, just okay. Um, but the district gets paying for it. It's not my dime. So, but anyway, I will talk to you all later because people just text my phone and told me they're waiting on me. So. I don't know.
finally back. Um, it is currently 11.30, 10.30 back home. So, not too late. I just got back. We live here at, um... When the last time I talked to y'all, we were leaving to go to the Ron Clark Academy. I don't even know if I told y'all that that's the reason I'm here. If I haven't, then yeah, I'm here. Well, we are here for the Ron Clark Experience, the House Mania, and let me tell y'all. Boy, we had a time. We had a time. I am beat, though. I'm about to give you all a room tour before tomorrow. So yeah, let me give you the quick room tour. It's really not much to see. Um, again, we're in Midtown Atlanta. So yeah, let's do the room tour. All right, so which way y'all wanna go? Girl, show us the living room. Okay, so here is the living area. This is the living area. You have your TV. This is the morning bar area. Apparently they don't care about presentation because this would never go over with me. Like, why is this even like not plugged up? Presentation is everything. Okay. Alright, so this is the desk area. Um, in case you want to get some work in. This is the balcony. I'm show y'all the little view that I got from over here. You see the Hampton Inn and Suites. Again, we're in the Midtown area, so it's like, I mean, what view <laughs> are you really expecting? All right, and I really love these double doors to separate the living room from the bedroom. So yeah, it's I like that. So let's open these doors. And I've already um, put my stuff on the bed. Because like I said, we came in. Like I literally spoke to my room and then I was out. I felt so deadbeat. <laughs> I just spoke to the room and then I was out. Alright. More views of the Midtown area. So this is the little window view. That's definitely getting closed off tonight and yeah we're right around the street from an urgent care so yeah that's what you hear this is the king size bed all right and y'all look at this everything in this room is literally doing a stanky leg like look at it can i try to fix it like okay because and it's still child let, let's just keep going okay this is the closet this is the sink space and i moved the safe because i needed something to prop the camera on yeah my flat irons oh y'all i'm glad i got auto off well auto shut off Cause I forgot and left those on when we came in the room and I had to touch up my bangs. But this is the sliding door that separates um, your bedroom, your sink from the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. Y'all got so many compliments on this set. Make sure y'all go and get this exact same set. I'm gonna link it in the description box down below and again, Thank you, team, thank you to Timu and shout out to them for sponsoring today's travel vlog. But yeah, this is the tub. You have your standard toilet. Then you have your shower. Wait, what are we using? This is in transit revising shampoo this is this works uh yeah i'm glad i bought <laughs> my own this i don't know maybe it smells good i don't know but that was pretty much it then you come back out 
It has a lot of doors. The Atlanta Marquee Midtown, baby. If you don't have anything else, it has a lot of doors, so. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me go on and push that over there. Yep, y'all, that's pretty much the room for the next three nights. So, yeah. This is day two. We are still at the same hotel location. Um, I don't know if I mentioned yesterday that the hotel has a balcony, but this is the perk of it. I love the balcony. Um, this is my view. And it's not quite sunrise yet, but it's still early. It is about six o'clock, but this was I have to be downstairs to meet the rest of the group at 7 so that we can leave at 7 30. <laughs> last night we went to this restaurant called i don't know <laughs> it's foggy um it's tavern it's, it's something before tavern i'll pop it right here but it's something is it midtown tavern it's something i just pop it up right here but the the food was good. I had this Thai seasoned chicken. I said, I won't go get the usual. Usually when I'm, you know, away, I'm a very picky eater. I love chicken and fish. That's it. Um, don't eat pork. So I'm very ticky when it comes to food. But I would give the rest the food itself eight out of ten. But the service 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. And I didn't even get her name, but hey girl, if you run across this, hello. Um, our waitress, Chef Kiss. I mean, and I had a Mr. Pip. <laughs> Southerners know about Mr. Pip. I haven't had a Mr. Pip in forever. I don't know if they just stopped making them or I don't, like, what has I haven't had a Mr. Pip literally since I was a little girl. But yeah, yeah I'm about to go on and get ready. Wanna play your fair, yeah, something that makes me look at you too often. Oh, baby, you can give us something. Baby, I can run all the time. I'm talking crazy. I need you right in my space, but I need it. So quick outfit check, top Team U <laughs> pants, Target. The pants come from Target and it's, these shoes are Team U. They're just some little sandals. You'll get a better picture. I'm gonna try to post today's outfit. <laughs> So we're back. I feel like I'm making pit stops. My Apple Watch is dead, but it's almost seven o'clock. We have reservations for seven. We're going to the Sugar Factory um, here in Midtown. The reviews, everybody said the drink's good, but the food awful. So I'm gonna see for myself. I'm a real, real big on pasta like I love me some good pasta if this pasta dry but you also can't go wrong with wings most of the time when a restaurant has bad food you can't the wings usually are the best thing on the menu so I might get wings I don't know I'm just pretty much going for the experience like I said Atlanta when you're going on business it's like a pit stop you can't really go out and enjoy like I'm coming back Cause the flight from Memphis was so quick so 
I'm more than likely all of us are coming back because my baby's birthday is coming up in August. So we're going to come back and I'll do an updated, more family friendlier vlog um, of ATL. The last time we came to ATL was like in 2015, I think. I don't remember. It was a blur. We stayed in Buckhead. I think that's when Buckhead was. Buckhead. I heard Buckhead. It's not so Buckhead no more. If you from Atlanta, comment down below and let me know. But yeah, y'all, so I'm finna stop talking. And yeah, let me get ready to head downstairs. Just got back from the um, Sugar Factory Midtown location. I'm not sure if y'all have more than one location, but we just left the Midtown location. It was three minutes from the hotel driving. I think they said like seven minutes if you're walking. The waiter was awesome. I think his name was Christian Charles. I don't know, he was African. Did a good job. The past two nights, I have had the opportunity of experiencing great customer service from my waitress on yesterday. I mean, I have to say yesterday night. <laughs> my waitress on last night, she was phenomenal. Um, I told y'all about her. And the waiter tonight, he was phenomenal. So I'm like, okay, the Midtown area. So far, they got a two for two for me in terms of customer service here in Atlanta. Uh, y'all, ignore my little bunny. This is my little chanel beauty supply bunny <laughs> trying to impress a girl and you on a budget fellas i won't go to the sugar factory i would not go to the sugar factory um keep a little midnight midnight tavern like i think yeah i don't know the name of this restaurant still <laughs> but the restaurant that we went to last night that might be a better suggestion if you're in the midtown area to take somebody for a date if you know you're trying to keep it you know, just trying to keep it nice. You don't know them, they don't know you, so you don't want to break the bank, right? Food. If I had to rec like, if I had to give you a rating, the pasta itself, I had the spicy Cajun chicken alfredo. The chicken is, was the chicken was not it. The chicken was not it. If it was just like the the seasoning that they use for the pasta itself. They could have given me that and left out the chicken and I would have been satisfied. But that chicken, I ended up scooting it to the side because it was so tough and it was so hard. It felt like I don't eat steak, but I can imagine that that's what the steak, that's what steak tastes like. It was just that tough to chew. I didn't feel like having, because I got a workshop tomorrow. I didn't feel like having a headache from chewing and a headache from the drink. Like everybody, I be thinking everybody from the silk. Like I be thinking everybody from the silk, and y'all know how we do back there. Like down there, like we we season it until our ancestors tell us stop. So I really be thinking that everybody season their food like that when I go places, and everybody don't do that. So if I had to give a rating, I would probably say seven. And this is day two, and I will see you all tomorrow on the final day. Trying to get y'all up here. Y'all had too many drinks at the sugar factory, huh? Y'all don't even want to stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It is day three. It is 7.30ish. We got to be downstairs today at 7.45. So, yeah, I got good timing. This is the last day here in Atlanta. Y'all, I've had the time of my life. <laughs> I'm just, not the time of my life, but it's 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 been it's been real good um it's just been so fast atlanta is very fast like you know mississippi you know tennessee there is it's slow you know atlanta is gonna take you like this and even when we came in like 2015 i think it was 2015 it was the same way like nobody got time to wait on nobody <laughs> like it's just it's like really fastly paced, almost like New York vibes, but with that Southern hospitality. When I say, when I'm talking in terms of people and how fast they move and how everything just continuously move. Um, I wanted to hold the bed so long. That's why I said I got to come back to Atlanta because 
I want the whole bed so long. It was ridiculous. But we have our final workshop today. And then we're heading to the airport to get back to Memphis. Hey y'all, so made it to Atlanta airport, y'all, it's terrible. Busy airport, like, I, I didn't believe it until I actually experienced it. The only time I've ever um, came through Atlanta airport was when we had a layover, so we didn't actually have to deal with, like, coming into the airport, going through TSA. It's, it's a lot. But anyway, yeah, I know I see how that had Chick-fil-A as usual. And I had Chick-fil-A at, um, at the RCA conference, so. Now, I'm just sitting waiting. I have about two hours before my flight, so. Talk to y'all when we get back in Memphis. Stay in my room and it ain't my Made it back safely to Memphis. Um, so I'm gonna conclude with the vlog right here. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.